Are you struggling getting true to life colors in your photos? What if I would say that this passport would solve your problems? In this episode, I'm going to explain how to use X-Rite's Color Checker Passport Photo so that you always will get accurate colors in your photos. My name is Sally. Welcome to my studio. In this episode, I'm going to explain how to use X-Rite's Color Checker Passport Photo. If you haven't seen the first episode where I'm speaking about white balance and color temperature, I highly advise you to do it before by clicking here. Did you know that for a camera, it's complicated to produce accurate colors? Cameras have different settings that control the colors in the photos. They are all different from brand to brand and are more decided upon eye-pleasing colors rather than accurate colors. This blue color, for example, is differently perceived by different camera sensors. If you have seen my previous video where I talk about white balance and color temperature, I explained that you can use a gray card to set the white balance in your camera or adjust color temperature in the post-processing. However, this will only correct the color related to the light source and it will still not be 100% accurate as all camera sensors are different. So if you want to have correct colors, you will have to use a color rendition chart like Color Checker. It will allow you to create a color profile for each situation or scene you are capturing, letting you get the accurate colors every time, no matter light source or camera. The x rite Color Checker Passport Photo has three targets. Creative enhancement with eight reference color patches, 10 warming and cooling patches, and eight gray patches. This is a target for white balance, exposure, and when you want to fine tune color settings, but it's also used for portrait and landscape. Then there is the color checker with 24 reference color patches. This is good for when you want to fine tune colors and it's used to build custom DNG profiles. On the last side, we have the white balance with one large light gray patch. This is to be used when you want to set the white balance directly in your camera. If you watch my first video, I'm showing how to use it. Let's have a closer look at this passport before I'll explain how to use it. x rite Color Checker Passport Photo is as small as a passport, thereof its name. It's made out of plastic, so it's very sturdy. However, for maximal performance, it's advised that you replace it after two years. But of course, if you're not using it very often, then you can keep it for a longer time. And Never touch these color patches with your fingers because the grease and the dirt from your fingers can actually damage the color patches and it can affect the color results. When using the color checker passport, there are a few important things you need to consider. The size of the passport should at least take up 10% of the frame in an image that is 10 megapixel. Avoid to fill your entire frame with it as vignetting might occur and it will affect the color rendering. The passport should be positioned in parallel to the plane of the lens. Make sure it's not tilted. To create the color profile as accurate as possible, it's important that the passport is perfectly in focus. The passport should be perfectly exposed, not under or overexposed as it might inflict with the color rendering. It should be used under the exact same lighting conditions as the photo you will take of your subject. Whenever it changes, you will have to take a new photo of the color checker passport. Also avoid having shadows or reflections on it. Then you're ready to go. Take a photo of the passport in the scene, in RAW, in the same direction where you will be capturing the rest of your images. When the lighting changes or you change direction, you will have to take a new photo with the passport. When you're done with your shooting, it's time to create a color profile. There are two different ways in creating it, either in x rites Color Checker Camera Calibration software or directly in your post-processing software. 
If you want to create it in XWrite software, you'll find a link to download it under the video below. Begin by opening the software. Then, in your post-processing software, export the passport photo as a DNG file. Then, you import the DNG file in XWrite's software. The Color Checker Passport software will now create a profile. When you have named it, it will automatically be saved in Lightroom Camera Calibration Panel. In order to find it in Lightroom, you need to restart Lightroom after the profile has been created. Then you'll find the Color Checker profile under Profiles. A faster alternative is to export the file immediately with Color Checker Camera Calibration in your post-processing software. If you're using Lightroom, you simply have to go to File, Export with Preset, Color Checker Camera Calibration, then restart your Lightroom. When you have restarted your Lightroom, click on the photo you wish to edit, then click on Develop and in the right column menu, go to Profile and click on Browse. There you'll find the profile you've created. On this before and after photo, you'll see a close-up on the passport without the color profile and with the color profile. You can see there is a slight difference in the color rendering. Depending on your camera sensor and light in the scene, this can differ. Here you can see the final photo. The image to the left is without the profile and the image to the right is with the custom camera profile that I created with Color Checker. You can see that it affects the green color and also the color of the backdrop. This is another photo where I use the Color Checker Passport. Here we can see the differences even more. The photo where I'm not using the customized camera profile made with a Color Checker is warmer and you can see that the color of the plate, the sponge cake, the lemon cream and also the white vanilla mousse have a warmer color temperature and different tints. Instead of wasting time trying to adjust all these colors, you can easily get the true to life colors thanks to the Color Checker Passport by creating a customized camera profile. The Color Checker Passport is a powerful tool and it's indispensable when you're working in control lightning and especially with food photography where it's crucial to get the colors right. By using it, you'll save a lot of time and you can begin post-processing and adding your style to the true to live colors of the scene. I hope you enjoyed this lesson and if you have any questions, just drop a comment to the video below. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you soon.